Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. I'm using that time to attempt to visit every civil parish in England. You're watching the North East Lincolnshire series, centred around Grimsby and Cleethorpes along the Humber Estuary. North East Lincolnshire has 21 civil parishes. Here's today's for you. Welcome back to North East Lincolnshire, folks. I can't tell you how difficult it is sometimes to find a parking space in some of these places. Well, here in Ashby cum Fenby, I've had to sort of improvise a little bit. I'm parked at the end of third lane, as you can see, and I've just about left enough room for people to get through. I know that because a, uh, a truck has just come through and he just managed to squeeze past me. So there's definitely enough room for a car. But the thing is, there isn't anywhere to park here, really. All these roads are really, really tight and I can't really park on this bend. So I think I've done the best that I can do there, quite frankly. Anyway, let's go for a walk. Hopefully it's not going to take me too long and then I can shift, can't I? <laughs> Welcome to Ashby Cum Fenby. <laughs> Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. Ashby Cum Fenby describes itself as a little gem of a village on its very own parish council website. This one sits six miles south of Grimsby, nestled at the foot of the Lincolnshire Wolds. It boasts a modest population, and the people who call it home are extremely proud of their village. Commonly called Ashby instead of its longer, more official name, the village is quite narrow and has plenty of narrow roads to boot. Trust me, parking in this one was certainly a challenge. Ashby is quite a common village name in Lincolnshire, the origin of the name is probably Old Scandinavian, deriving from the personal name Aski, making this Aski's farmstead. The same can be said for the area of Scunthorpe with the same name. However, it could also mean farmstead where ash trees grow. Whatever the case, Ashby Cum Fenby is a lovely little village, one of the quietest in North East Lincolnshire. It has connections to the Ray family, the very same who we discussed in the Glentworth episode of West Lindsay. In around 1630, Lady Frances Ray built six almshouses close to the church here. In 1641, her son Sir Christopher endowed them. In 1969, they were rebuilt to form four slightly larger dwellings. Aside from these landmarks, Ashby also has a hotel in the grounds of a former farmyard, a church hall, and an actual hall which has an ancient well in its grounds. So let's go and find it all then, shall we? Our route begins with a little drive along the A18 from East Ravendale. The A18 forms the parish boundary between it and Ashby Cum Fenby. There's a small cluster of buildings along the A18, an area known as Ashby Hill. Amongst these, there's some businesses, which hopefully the camera will have picked up. They're on the left if it has. These include Willow Lakes, which is a popular place for a short break. Under new management since 2020, Willow Lakes has holiday cottages, log cabins, lodges and stabling for some 20 horses. It has a five-year expansion master plan, in inverted commas, which will transform it into a premier destination. It already includes the landmark cafe and restaurant, which has a view that has to be seen to be believed. 
It has an incredible 73 foot terrace that spans the length of the cafe with an unrivalled view of both the Lincolnshire Wolds and over 20 miles of the Lincolnshire coastline. Our walk around Ashby Cum Fenby starts in the south of the village where Main Road meets Third Lane. This is a compact village with many narrow roads. This is Chapel Lane and as the name suggests there was once a chapel along here. A Wesleyan building, it was built in 1836, however it's now been demolished. Chapel Lane is wholly residential now and there's some very desirable properties along it. A lot of them are detached houses with pretty little gardens. Ashby doesn't have any pubs, the nearest one is located in Waltham around 2 miles away. It also has no shops unless you count the cafe on the A18. It's never had a school either. Like Hatcliffe, Bealsby, Brigsley and both Ravendale villages, a lot of Ashby's children attend school at East Ravendale. Ashby also has no bus service, you probably couldn't fit a bus down these narrow lanes anyway. However, the village is located on a familiar footpath. So Ashby is another village on the Wanderlust Way. I'm going to use a little bit of it here to get myself through to the next street. Take a right turn at the end and then we'll head back to the main road. This is Post Office Lane which gets its name from the fact that there used to be one. There isn't any more, it's another wholly residential street. There is a phone box, mind you. This one's a book exchange which is maintained by the parish council. I've got to be totally honest with you here, this was a tough script to write. Because Ashby is, by its own admission, a hidden gem, not a lot of people visit it. That means not much has ever been documented about the place, and I struggled to find things out about it. It doesn't help that it's mainly residential too. I hope, despite this, that I did manage to find enough of interest. Anyway, we're now starting to hit the more important village landmarks. Our next one is the Church Hall, which is under the remit of the village church, St Peter's. This is Ashby's main community space, often used by a range of village groups. Coffee mornings are held in it three times a year, in March, July and November. So the Church Hall notice board is the closest thing I've found so far on this walk to an actual parish notice board, so this is what we're going to use for the card today. So here we go, we go in that corner and that is Ashby come Fenby done. Now let's go and find the church. Ashby's Grade 2 listed Anglican church is dedicated to St Peter, a small but ancient stone structure with some sections dating to the Norman period. This one has an early English tower, aisle and belfry, a decorated chancel and a perpendicular font. Beneath the tower are the remains of a 13th century rood screen. It was thoroughly repaired in 1845 and its tower was repaired again in 1886. Inside are monuments to members of the Ray family, including Lady Frances and her sister Susanna Drury. It's not easy to understand why Ashby Cum Fenby ever needed a church as large as St Peter's, but there we go. The same could be said for Hall Farm Hotel and Restaurant, but this makes a bit more sense. I mean, who wouldn't love a hotel stay in a peaceful village like this? Now a luxury retreat, the hotel has made use of what used to be an abandoned farmyard some 20 years ago. It offers fine dining, wedding packages and conference facilities. I can only apologise for the noise of the grass cutter in the background. Hopefully I've turned it down enough so it wasn't intrusive there while you're trying to listen to me talking about the church. Anyway, we've just seen uh, the hotel and next to it we have this building. And I'm going to tell you what that is right now. You might have guessed already, but that is the Hall, or Hall Farmhouse. Grade 2 listed, it dates from the 18th century mainly, but it does have some older remains from an early 17th century building. Within its grounds there's an ancient well which is believed to be medieval. 
That doesn't stop the locals referring to it, though, as the Roman Well. Maybe they know something historic England doesn't. After passing the hall, we emerge at this corner, which has a British flag flying proudly. The rest of the walk is a simple trot back along Main Road through this wooded copse-like area, past the church hall and back to Third Lane. This was just more of the same, a range of more lovely residential properties everywhere you look, which are surrounded by the peacefulness of the Lincolnshire Wolds. And I was to discover that whilst Ashby has no cemetery, it does have a place where some of its former residents can be remembered. The Village Sign. So we've walked all the way back to the south of the village and I'm at the village sign which you would have seen uh, at the beginning of this video. Here we go, you see, Ashby Coven Fenbury sign. Now this post which the sign is mounted on is like a, a memorial post. Look at this. All of these are brass memorials for people who lived in the village, I assume. There's loads of them. Two on that side, quite a lot on this side and then there's a couple on the other side as well here we go look that's quite nice isn't it and of course because this is such a a large post there's plenty of room for others in the future as well that's a really good idea that it's fantastic it's just uh it's a nice touch it means that people who lived here are never forgotten because they're always underneath the sign of the place they resided Brilliant idea. Love it. Love it. It's little quirky things like that which set this country apart from some of the others in the world. You know, I'm sure there are other things that other countries do, but here, that is quintessentially British. Or quintessentially English. One or the other. Probably both, actually. But yeah, there you go. Nice touch. Nice touch. And that's been the parish of Ashby cum -Fenby. Very rural. Very nice. Plenty of quaint little properties, some beautiful properties, nice church, a, a hotel, and uh, yeah, all together, fantastic. And I'll see you in the next one here in North East Lincolnshire. I've been Andy, also known as the Village Idiot. This has been the parish of Ashby, come Fenby, and I'm out.